Hey everyone, Brad here with the Shindo Studio. We're currently working on a bathroom renovation project and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys a portion of the schematic design process. We're about two or three weeks into this process for this project and we're at a point where we're getting close to uh, formalizing uh, where the walls are located and where all the fixtures in this bath are located. So I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, take a look. So this project, the client wants to renovate their existing master bathroom and closet. A um, couple things they wanted to accomplish. They want a freestanding uh, tub and they want the toilet to be in a water closet. They want this shower to be more open. Uh, they wanted to have double vanities here rather than a single. And they really wanted to maximize their closet space. So after we kind of nailed down a program and a preliminary budget, we created several different sketches. After a few meetings, we had identified some of the options that they really like. Uh, one was this alcove, this with the bedroom here, this, uh, the alcove here entering into these spaces really uh, created a more private entry, which the client really liked. But we do have limited square footage here. Um, we were able to shift this wall a bit. So, but there are some things that they really don't like about this. The water closet back over here trying to take advantage of this window um, really starts to compress the closet and the orientation of the tub to this window is really much better in the alternate direction. So from here, we really started to look at a different configuration and this configuration moves the water closet kind of tucked in back over here and allows for the tub to be oriented um, in a more pleasing way to the existing window. And it really starts to open up the closet as well. But again, now we're entering into, you know, kind of the edge of the vanity here and the toilet water closet area is a little cramped. So the next thing we discussed was the opportunity to maybe eliminate this alcove and just enter into the bath and enter into the closet through the bathroom. So our next set of studies that I'm going to show you today is going to look at those two options. So one of the next options we looked at from here was what if we to kind of open this entry up a little bit more one let's omit the alcove we really need to devote all that square footage to the bathroom and closet itself so to free up a little space here we'd bring this door out and what if we rotated the water closet and see if we could make that work dimensionally so the initial study of that that came and went pretty quick. So we would have, you know, our entry would be here, but there's just no room because of that water closet. Dimensionally, it just doesn't work. So that was kind of a non-starter. And then from there, we kind of took that and really started looking at, well, what if we kept the water closet the direction it is? Maybe it doesn't have a door, but now we've got a view of that as we open this door. We are also looking at the opportunity to have a more centralized entry into the closet. And they're really interested in having his and hers closets. So even though this is one room that's unseparated, having an entry point into kind of the center of that space really allows for a setup of two separate closets there so but this is still an issue this toilet in this corner one thought we had was maybe 
what if we can tuck that water closet in up here between these windows? What would that give us? So here we're kind of entering in the center of this wall. This has shifted the closet entry back to this edge. And this water closet tucks in here, kind of opens this space up uh, for a split separated vanity for his and hers. So again, you know, the issue that, um, that me and the client both agree on is now we're entering into this kind of the edge of the cabinet, this uh, dimensionally right here. It works, but it's a little tight. So the next option we're gonna look at is the potential to keep that, maybe put a double sink on this side of the bathroom. And this can be, uh, I may have forgot to mention, uh, kind of a little powder bench makeup area is something the owner is interested in as well. And this may free up, you know, making the vanity sink area a little bit tighter may actually free up some space for a powder bench on this wall. So we're gonna study that. And alternately, if we keep the toilet here again and keep our central entry into the closet, setting up that his and hers again at the closet, split vanity. Now we're entering kind of centrally located into the room. We're not kind of entering into the edge of the space and we've still created some space for a powder bench either on this exterior wall or rotated 90 degrees. So we're gonna study those. So here we have the two options, uh, this one being the more symmetrical options with the door into the closet centered, with our little powder bench here, separated vanities. This one definitely is more, I think, appealing as an entry and you're kind of opening into this larger space. Over here, you know, it's a little tighter there and we've got some potential issues with the pocket door but you know all in all i think they're both good plans so we'll clean these sketches up a little bit and discuss with the client with the goal of choosing one option so thanks for watching see you next time